Well, good morning, and um, welcome to Invertebrate Paleontology, which is the study of fossil invertebrates. I am the collection manager here in the section. My name is Albert Kohler. I'm also a geologist and invertebrate paleontologist. So what we'd like to do shortly is to give you an introduction to one of our great collections, which is called Trilobites. Not trilobites, but trilobites. And these are animals that once lived in the oceans, they're extinct group. Uh, they're related to cockroaches and insects, crabs, lobsters. Uh, our collection is quite vast, but mostly our research and collecting has been done in the United States. And so with that, I wanna show you what a trilobite looks like. It's three parts, it's got a head, a cephalon, a thorax in the middle, and a tail, or a pagidium. And so these animals lived in the oceans. They were crawlers, some were swimmers, but dominantly they were in the Paleozoic era after which they went extinct. But here in the collection, we have some outstanding things that we want to show you a little bit about uh, this morning. So just uh, go back to something that we have in the cabinets here. And these are from uh, these right here, kind of interesting. Uh, these are some of the larger ones we have. Uh, the rock is a limestone, which tells us that it was an ancient seaway. And here's the preservation of it. Uh, this is called an Isotelus gigas which happens to be the state fossil of Ohio. And yet it's uh, quite large actually, it's uh, more than uh, seven centimeters. And yet the largest found is from Manitoba, Canada. And that is almost 24 inches long. So outstandingly, you can get lucky and find some big time things. But here we have this one, which is pretty significant. This used to be on display in the old Paleozoic Hall. This is from Braintree, Massachusetts. It's Cambrian age. And so it's quite large as well, more so than what I just showed you from Isotelus. And uh, these are index fossils, meaning that you can actually track the age of the rocks from Eastern United States, New England area, to Wales and into England, which tells us something about the, con the connection between the uh, European continent and North America. There's also, a fossil that's called the state fossil Pennsylvania. It's called Phacops rena. And these are uh, these small one inch or more size uh, animals that lived in the rocks called the, the Middle Devonian, which 390 million years ago. Pennsylvania, New York, Ohio, as far as uh, west as, as Michigan. But they're quite unique. And they were designated as a state fossil by the Pennsylvania State Lake Assembly in 1988. So we got a fossil out of it and we have some good samples of Phacops rena in the collections. And maybe so even better is uh, this cabinet here, it's called the type cabinet. And the type cabinet is where uh, it reflects all the research that has taken place over the last 115 years in this section by scientists that work for the section or were contributing to our collections over that period of time. And so we have, uh, more than 35 papers that were published citing 65 new species, which is pretty, pretty cool actually. And one of, the, one of which stands out because it was discovered by our social security adjunct from the Maryland Geological Survey, David Brzezinski, uh, in 2000, collecting it from Missouri. And he designated this particular species uh, a, a, a Myriopiltonia Loridana. And this is Loridana. Here's Loridana in a, in a photograph right here. And this is Loridana in the fossil version. So what's important about Loridana is that we actually designated as our section logo, which we have in some places, particularly on the outside of our doorway. So that's a, a pretty cool thing to do is to take a trilobite that was discovered in Missouri and then written up in the annals of the Carnegie Museum, mind you, and then designated as our, our type species.